I'm Emily with Pololu Robotics and Electronics, and I'd like to introduce you to Pololu's line of Maestro servo controllers and show you how easy it is to get started. The Maestros come in 6, 12, 18, and 24 channel versions, where channels can be configured as servo outputs, digital outputs, or analog or digital inputs. They support USB, TTL serial, and internal scripting control. These features mean the Maestros are not only great for controlling servos, but can also be used for a variety of projects. From small robots where the Maestro is the main controller, to larger robots where the Maestro communicates with a higher level controller, to interactive animatronic or lighting displays. What makes the Maestros especially cool is the Maestro Control Center software, which allows you to configure and test the device over USB, set sequences of servo movements for animatronics or walking robots, and write, step through, and run scripts on the Maestro servo controller. Getting started with the Maestro and the Control Center software is easy. First, navigate to any Maestro product page on pololu.com and select the Resources tab. There you will see a link for Pololu Maestro Servo Controller User's Guide. Open the guide and follow the directions in the Getting Started section for your operating system. Once you are done following the directions, you should have the drivers and the Maestro Control Center software installed on your computer. You should verify that the computer can see the Maestro before you start using it in any projects. So plug your Maestro into USB and open the Control Center software. If everything worked out, you should see the serial number in the Connected To field. Now that you are done making sure your computer can connect to your Maestro, you are ready to connect some servos to your controller and get them moving. It is good practice to disconnect power from electronics before making any connections, so we will start by unplugging the Maestro from USB. Then, connect some servos to whichever channels you would like. Note that the power rail closest to the edge of the board is the ground rail, and that for most standard hobby servos, the black or brown wire indicates ground. We will plug our PowerHD 1501MG servo into channel 0 and our SpringRC continuous rotation servo into channel 1. Now it's time to connect power for our Maestro. We will use a 5 AA nickel metal hydride battery pack to power our servos with 6 volts and USB to power the Maestro's processor. The first few sections of the user's guide list the pinouts for each type of Maestro. Find the one for your Maestro and look for the pins labeled Servo Power. Then connect your servo power accordingly. Once you have your servos and servo power connected, plug the Maestro into USB. If the control center doesn't automatically connect to your Maestro, select it from the Connected To drop-down box. Now, from the Status tab, you can check the Enable box for the servo channels you want to control. Note that the first time you check an Enable box for a particular Maestro, a warning box will pop up. Don't worry, the Maestro's default serial setting does not allow for USB control, and this box is just asking you if you want to change the setting so that you can control the Maestro over USB. So select OK. Once you have enabled the servo channels your servos are connected to, you can use the sliders to move your servos. From here, making a sequence of servo movements is easy using the Maestro's sequencer. Just drag the Sequence tab to the side of the control center. Select New Sequence and rename it to whatever you want. Then manipulate the servo positions using the sliders on the Status tab. Once the servos are in the position you want, click Save Frame to add it to your sequence. Keep adding frames until you get the sequence of movements you are looking for. Then select Play Sequence to play all the saved frames. Check Play and Loop if you want the sequence to repeat over and over again. Not happy with the servo positions on a certain frame? Select it from the list and load the frame. Then adjust the sliders to the position you'd prefer and save over the current frame. Use the frame properties to change the duration setting. Once you're happy with your servo sequence and you want to run your servos without connecting them to the computer, you can copy your sequence over to a script. To do that, select Run Script on Startup and apply the settings. 
then unplug the Maestro from USB. To power the Maestro's processor with your servo power, you want to find the pins that connect the servo power to VIN. These are labeled as VServo equals VIN in the pinout diagrams in the user's guide. Use the jumper that came with the Maestro to connect them. Your script should begin running as soon as you make the connection. If you are using the 6-channel Micro Maestro, note that it does not have a jumper for connecting the servo power to VIN, but you can solder a wire between VIN and one of the servo power connections to accomplish the same thing. Once you're up and running, try adding buttons to control the servos. Or a sensor to trigger a sequence of movements. Check out the user's guide for more information about the control center, using the serial interface, writing scripts for the Maestro, some basic wiring examples, and more. Visit the resources tab on the product page for more documentation and examples of what other customers have done with their Maestros. And we'd love to see what you come up with using your Maestro. So show off your work in the share your project section of our forum. <laughs>